For me, it's really the process of discovery. And ecosystems and plant communities are fantastically complex. And we don't really understand how they work. And we see that when we study their response to environmental change. So we can't predict how ecosystems will respond when there's some kind of a change in the environment. And that means we really don't understand how they work. And so I enjoy every time we do an experiment, we figure it out, we get a little closer to that understanding. And I enjoy sharing that process of discovery with my students. The really great thing that Elsa does in her class is she gives the students an opportunity to participate in original research, so to generate novel data. Uh, and this is in contrast to a traditional lab in which students are repeating experiments that somebody else has already done and that we know the answer, and there's a right and a wrong answer. In Elsa's class, often the students are doing experiments where we don't know the answer, and there is no right answer because nobody's ever done it before. Um, and this is uh, really great for students to have the opportunity to really understand that they themselves can generate new knowledge, that they can really be scientists. It's, I think, very important for cutting-edge researchers to also be involved in education because our fields are changing so rapidly. And if you don't have somebody that's really right at that cutting edge who's also teaching, then the students aren't learning um, what's really important in the field right now. She's able to combine her research with her teaching, but also with a bigger perspective. In the Ecology Lab course, for example, students get to use our great reserves, and their data is actually fed into an, an ecological network. So what undergraduate students get to do is they get to work on a local level in a course where they're learning about ecosystems, and they're able to take that data and make it work towards a bigger goal. She creates a warm and open environment that fosters creativity, cooperation, and communication in her labs and classroom. So Elsa has created the EBE Club, the Ecology, Behavior, and Evolution Club. And in doing this, she's really given students a voice that they didn't have before, a group where they can meet fellow EBE undergraduates. And this helps to unite us, to attract more people, and to give them resources that they didn't have before. How do I find a job, not just in academia, but beyond? During one of the time periods when we were working on our statistics, she called over each student individually to talk to them about their career paths and life goals. And it was one of the first times that a professor had actually sat me down and done that. UC San Diego is a, a really fantastic place for uh, biology students because I think of the exceptional opportunities we have here to do research with faculty. Many of our students uh, pursue independent research for academic credit uh, with the BISP 199 or 99 programs and work really closely with faculty as they do that. Professor Cleland is really, I think, a great example of someone who's truly committed to diversity. In her lab alone, she has, since coming here, had over 50 students, of which over 40 um, have been women. And she's also had several underrepresented minority students. So uh, basically, in her research, she's incorporating these students. Uh, then also, of course, she is the chair of the Division of Biological Sciences Diversity Committee. And in that capacity, she is really working very hard to bring together diverse initiatives. Uh, for example, to give students opportunities from historically black colleges and universities to come here and do research. One of the most important things that working under Elsa has taught me is confidence. Um, she's encouraged me throughout the entire process and I'll be applying for graduate school this fall 2016 as a result of her mentorship. Students uh, ask all kinds of fantastic questions. They uh, make me think about my research in a way that I wouldn't think about it otherwise. Uh, but of course, we all have a responsibility, I think, to transfer the knowledge that we've gained um, through our own educational trajectories and then transfer that to the next generation of scientists that'll take our place.